Hello, this is the third guitar lesson and I'm going to talk about six concepts, six parameters involving our mindset while playing. They are all connected to each other, but I think a delimitation can be made so that the frame of mind is easy and clear to understand. Before I begin, it's very important that you only try what I'm going to suggest. If it feels right for you, or if it's a direction that you would like to try. The most important thing is that you do your own thing in creative endeavors. So consider these elements of my system of playing the guitar, but only pursue them if you think they help you on your own road. The concepts are conviction, feedback, interest, honesty, movement and risk. The first one is conviction. This has to do with how convinced you are that each sound is exactly what you want to play. You can look at the fretboard and have a conscious decision on what you will play. You can play something that you are very convinced of, you can do the opposite or anything in between. There is no right or wrong, but you shouldn't you should be aware that the process of making that decision can be felt from your playing by the listener. Try to experiment with both ends of the spectrum. First, try to take enough time making the decision that you are absolutely certain that that is the sound that you want to make. You may experience a change of heart while you are making a decision. You can be somewhat sure of a specific note or sound. Then, as the seconds go by, you may become involved in another sound. Let yourself be free of any pressure to play something and take your time to consider your decision. On the other hand, there is playing the first thing that comes to you. Experiment juggling with these two modes, <coughs> alternating them, and in time this will become a part of your playing. All these concepts, I think, have to do with your maturity while playing. It takes time to get a handle on each of them, but you will see that they intertwine and it will come together easy. The second one is feedback. This has to do with the feeling that you get from yourself, the other listeners and your inspiration. This will tell you, for example, how long a note should last or when is the moment to start producing your note or sound. This may not be an intrinsic skill for you, but in time your sensibility in this area will increase and it will become obvious when is the time to begin and to stop and how long each silence will last. The feedback aspect will also have a word in indicating what notes you should play. It's important to keep in mind though that you're not obligated to follow the feedback that you get. Experiment by playing a single note over and over and being aware of your feeling on when to pluck the note and when to stop it. On stopping the note, there are several ways you can do it. 1. Lift your finger off the fretboard. 2. Touch the string that is vibrating with a part of your right hand closer to your wrist or the pick of a finger. 3. Touch the string with another finger of your left hand. 4. Slowly slide the finger that is holding the note towards your right hand so that it just goes over the fret. This will mute the string. 3. Our representation for how the notes will sound differ from one another 
maybe you hear the notes in your head or maybe each note makes you feel in a different way. So try to listen to yourself and experiment playing something that you would really like to hear. And on the other hand, try playing something that you wouldn't want to hear. This is not wrong, although the natural urge is to maintain a sense of liking everything around you, including what you are playing. For a few years of my playing the guitar, I eliminated this criteria while playing, of liking my own music. I feel that my experience was enriched by this experiment, and this expanded my list of things that I like to hear from my instrument. What was first dissonant became consonant and soothing. This also helps if you are spending a lot of time playing, because we tend to become saturated if we hear the same kind of thing over and over. But playing something you don't like in this context is an extreme. The typical balance is having to choose between options in your playing and being aware of how much each of them sparks your interest at that moment. The fourth concept is honesty. This has to do with the feeling that what you are playing is coming from a place of truth, that it has to be the way it is, it feels right and almost necessary. I say a place of truth, but that does not necessarily mean beauty or suppleness. It all depends on how you feel at the time, different things will feel honest at different times, and there is room for honesty and dishonesty, of course. Try it out, maybe this perception will come in time, but be sure that it will come eventually. You will know the feeling when you have it, it's easy to recognize. At first, it has everything to do with taking your time and not rushing to feel the silence. It's completely worth getting to find your own rhythm, your own preferences, and not trying to imitate something else. My personal experience is that instead of imitating in the beginning with the hope that in this way you will have a base to start with, it is better to build your own musical world from the ground up, starting with little things and being certain that the end will be 100% you. I spent years trying to get certain phrases and idiosyncrasies out of my system and that is why I would recommend that you don't get a teacher, at least until you are fully developed and mature in your playing. You doing it in your own time, I think, has a gre far greater value than someone telling you what is good and what is wrong. Remember, the stakes here are not life or death, so there is no urgency to get somewhere fast and developing your own voice is, in my opinion, by far the most important aspect. The fifth element is movement. Unlike playing music in your head, playing a note on your instrument requires physical action on your part. So it's an option to look at the movement that you make in order to play the way you play. As listeners, we all know that the instrument player's feelings, thoughts, state of mind and all the elements that make them who they are become apparent in their playing. We can hear or feel at some level everything that the person is going through. Is your priority to get as fast as possible to the place on the guitar that you want your hands to be or do you take your time? Think about it and be aware of this for a period of time so you'll make sure that this is an element that is always giving you options not be forced by habit to engage the notes in the same way every time. Also, you will notice that even while not looking at the fretboard, your hand will automatically tend to move towards the place of the guitar that it wants to engage. It's totally worth it to develop this natural ability and then decide if where your hand wants to go is where you want to play or go with other senses. Movement is an element that can be applied adjacently to all the concepts in this lesson because all the elements involve your mind, your feelings on one hand, and the notes on the guitar on the other hand, but your movement is the connection between, your own movement is what makes the notes sound the way they do. <coughs> the sixth and last concept is risk. Do you always play something that you know beforehand how it's going to sound? Do you experiment with new things, new ways to look at music? You don't necessarily have to. 
There are many ways to play the guitar and all of them have value. In my experience, the amount of risk I involve in my playing should never be higher than my level of confidence. Risk involves failure and if I don't have the confidence to overcome failure, that's not good for me. It's an aspect I had to work on because I have been exploring different intervals and different combinations of notes for years and especially in the beginning most of it was pretty new to me but it was a challenge to play a note that I expected to sound in a way and discover that it's not as I guessed. Maybe that's not applicable to you, of course there is pleasure in spontaneity, discovery, surprise, but for me there was always a level of disappointment as well, so I had to deal with that to not be overcome. The risk in playing music takes many forms, I encourage you to take as many risks as possible and learn as much as you can about the instrument and yourself regarding music. At the end of the lesson, I'd like to remind you to always strive to do your own thing, especially in the beginning when your confidence level is lower and you are more open to suggestions. This lesson is here just to give you options, but don't follow through unless you feel that they help you further on your own road. Always try to get satisfaction from your instrument and feed the fascination that comes between you and the guitar. If you do it in your own time and just spend time with the guitar, improvement will come automatically. Please don't make the guitar an object of frustration in your life.